diving deep into one in particular, iTeraCare, and the science behind it, terahertz frequency. It, what makes this one so interesting is we're not just talking about a device, really, but a whole technology, potentially, with all kinds of applications. Okay, so let's break it down. We've got this device, iTeraCare. It uses something called terahertz frequency. What exactly is that, and how does it even work with the human body? So terahertz frequency, it's part of the electromagnetic spectrum. You've got your microwaves, your infrared light, terahertz is right in there. Between. And what's fascinating about it is how it interacts with water molecules. And, well, we're basically big bags of water. Yeah, so it's like our bodies become like a tuning fork and the terahertz frequency is what makes it vibrate. That's a great way to think about it. This resonance, as it's called, could have a ripple effect at the cellular level. Like, imagine those water molecules in your cells getting energized, potentially leading to better communication between those cells, improved function, all that. Hold on, energized water in our cells. That sounds kind of profound when you put it like that. But how does iTeraCare actually make this happen? That's where the real ingenuity comes in. The device itself uses this specially designed crystal tube. Think of it like hmm, a musical instrument. And the specific blend of minerals inside is like tuning it to create the perfect terahertz note, so to speak, that resonates with your body. So we have this precisely tuned crystal tube emitting terahertz frequency. How does that frequency actually reach our cells though? Well, when you turn on the iTeraCare device, it blows out hot air just like, you know, your hair dryer. But here's the key difference. That hot air is carrying the terahertz frequency. And because terahertz waves are non-ionizing, meaning they don't mess with atoms the way something like, say, x-rays do, they can safely penetrate the body, delivering that frequency deep into tissues. Okay, so the terahertz frequency hitches a ride on the hot air and goes deep into our body. But there's more to it than just, like, reaching our cells, right? There's this whole connection with body temperature. Can you unpack that a little? Absolutely. The research really emphasizes that our bodies function best at a very specific temperature, around 36.5 degrees Celsius. Even a little bit below that and it can impact our metabolism, immune system, all sorts of things. So like a perfectly calibrated thermostat, but for our bodies. What happens if that internal temperature's off though? Well, think of it this way. Every degree below that ideal temperature could potentially make us more susceptible to getting sick. And some of the research we're looking at even suggests that tumors and cancerous cells actually thrive in temperatures lower than that optimal 36.5 degrees Celsius. Wow, I had no idea there was such a strong connection between just our body temperature and our overall health. That's a serious eye-opener. So where does iTeraCare play into all of this? Well, that's where the device's potential to maintain that ideal body temperature comes in. It's really about promoting the body's natural ability to regulate itself, which as we've seen, is so crucial. So it's not about blasting your body with heat from the outside, but working with your body's own systems to achieve that optimal temperature. Precisely. And a key element in all of this is the type of silicon used in that special crystal tube we talked about. It's called Donghai silicon, chosen for its purity and high energy intensity. So just to be clear, this Donghai silicon is crucial for generating the terahertz frequency, which the hot air carries into our bodies, potentially helping us maintain that 36.5 degree temperature. Exactly. And this is where it gets really fascinating. Remember us talking about terahertz frequency resonating with water molecules? Well, that might have even more profound implications. Hold that thought, because we're going to get into that fascinating connection between terahertz frequency and water right after this. All right, before the break, we were about to unlock the secrets of terahertz frequency and its fascinating relationship with water. Ready to dive in. Okay, so get this, the human body, right? Roughly 70% water and terahertz frequency. It just so happens to be incredibly compatible with water molecules. So it's not just about the heat then, but how that frequency interacts with the water that's already in our cells. Exactly, and that's where things get really interesting. So this resonance, this harmonious vibration we're talking about, it could enhance cellular function. Enhance? How so? Well, think of it like giving your cells a nudge, you know, helping them communicate better, maybe improving circulation, just boosting overall activity. So it's almost like a cellular orchestra with each cell playing its part in symphony, thanks to this terahertz frequency. That's a great way to put it. It's not about forcing the cells to do anything. It's about like providing the right environment for them to thrive. Okay, that makes sense. This all sounds incredibly promising, but I feel like we've only scratched the surface here. What are the larger implications for our health and well-being? Well, that's what I think is so fascinating about this research. They really emphasize the intelligence of the human body 
It's constantly working to keep things balanced, keep us healthy. And it does that partly by responding to different frequencies. So, so our bodies are like highly attuned instruments, constantly picking up on beneficial frequencies and using them to stay in tune. Precisely. And terahertz frequency might be one of those frequencies our bodies have evolved to work with by giving your body the resources to heal and regulate itself naturally. That's pretty amazing. So if this technology can really work with our natural systems like that, could it lead to like a whole new era of wellness? That's what the research is suggesting. And in fact, Deshong Health Technology, the company behind iTerra Care, they're partnering with Prife International to explore even broader applications. Wow, a powerhouse team up. What kind of applications are we talking? They're being a little mysterious about the specifics. But it's clear they're very passionate about pushing the boundaries of what terahertz technology can do. They're talking about a future where it plays a key role in maintaining our health and well-being long term. That's exciting stuff, but I do want to inject a little caution here. This is a rapidly evolving field, and I think it's important to stay grounded. Absolutely. A healthy dose of skepticism is always a good thing. We need more research, more clinical trial to really confirm the long-term benefits and safety of this technology. Right. We don't want to get ahead of ourselves or give people false hope. But at the same time, it's hard not to be excited by the potential here. Working with the body's own systems to improve health, it's a fascinating idea. Absolutely. It's definitely a conversation worth having. For sure. And for those listening, this has been just a taste of the iTerra Care and Terahertz frequency world, but the journey doesn't end here. Right? Not at all. Research is ongoing. So where does this leave all of our listeners out there? It all comes down to being informed, right? Especially with all this new technology and all these claims, you've got to separate the hype from what's really going on. Exactly. Ask the important questions. What's the evidence? What are the potential benefits? Are there any risks we should be aware of? Exactly. You got it. And as we've been discussing, even when something sounds amazing, like really groundbreaking, we have to be realistic too. What we've seen today, this research, it could be pointing towards a future where terahertz is this huge part of staying healthy, but we're still early in the game. For sure. What we've done today is just give a little glimpse into the possibilities. It's really just the start though. Definitely. The learning doesn't stop here. Right. Stay curious out there. It's a fascinating topic to say the least. Well, that's about it for this deep dive into iTerraCare and terahertz frequency. We'll be back next time with another look at the science behind some of the most talked about health innovations.